We are here live at Skyfire AI headquarters at... Hey, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. My name is Matt Sloan, and I'm the co-founder and chief strategy officer of Skyfire AI. Over the last 10 years, we've worked with nearly a thousand agencies across the country. And what we do is we help these agencies uh, incorporate drones into, uh, into their daily activities. So why are drones so important? Uh, one of the biggest reasons is because it helps these folks do their jobs uh, more safely, more efficiently, and it helps them go home to their families at night. We're actually offering them perspective on the scenes that they're approaching. If you think about pulling up to a house that's on fire, uh, you can only see the front side of the house. If you were to put a drone up in the air, you can actually see all four sides of the house, you can see behind the house. What most agencies start is what's known as a patrol drone program. So they will actually put a drone in a police car, in a fire truck, and drive it to a scene. The problem with that is it takes them about five to seven minutes on average to get to a scene. And by the time they get there and take another two to five minutes to set the drone up and get it up in the air, sometimes the action is over. They're also very busy being firefighters and police officers. And so what we've evolved into is what's known as a DFR or a drone as a first responder concept. And that concept is we put drones on rooftops so they're, they're pre-located uh, you know, located on rooftops, they're ready to go, and they can respond at a moment's notice. So what happens is a 911 call comes in uh, and if it's within the response territory of that drone that's pre-positioned on a rooftop, the drone takes off and can be there in an average of about two and a half minutes. And that gives the responding officers five minutes of good data before they walk onto a scene. So that can be uh, you know, life-saving if you think about um, you know, the information you're given as you respond to a scene. Um, it, you know, if you think that somebody might have a gun, um, you can find out that actually it's, it's just you know, a kid with a toy um, and it's not a threat to you. And so that's gonna change your posture as a law enforcement officer when you enter the scene. Hi, my name is Kurt Warshak. I'm the director of the North Alabama Multi-Agency Crime Center. So primarily what we're doing is using technology and collaboration and analytics to assist in solving crimes, sometimes real time, sometimes in an investigative process, and even sometimes um, predictive. Often what happens is our officers get there as fast as they can, which on average is four to seven minutes per call, and usually everything's done and the suspect is gone uh, from bank robberies to everything else. As you can imagine, the, the key information is gone. And so you start interviewing witnesses very quickly because we're trying to get the suspect as quickly as possible because as time goes on, the chances of getting him become slim to none. And so it's all about time. And using drones, what we're able to do is actually cut that four to seven minutes down to about two to two and a half minutes on average currently, but that's putting us in a position to where often we're actually catching the sus suspect still on the scene or running from the scene and guiding officers to the suspect and therefore much more uh, capable of actually catching a suspect related to a particular crime or crime scene. One of the other really cool things that we're doing at Skyfire is uh, the, we're establishing what we call the RISE DFR Village. The DFR Village is meant for agencies of all types to come here to our facility. It's a 2200 acre facility. It's actually owned by Huntsville International Airport and it's located here at the airport. And we have the ability to test out different drones and different softwares, different drones in a box, different uh, drone detection or counter UAS uh, software applications and an agency can come and say, this is what I'm looking to do. Can you set up a scenario for me so I can come in and try it out there? And so it's essentially a showroom uh, for public safety drone agencies to kind of come out and, and put together the right package for them. As part of that, we have a great relationship with the Huntsville International Airport, and we work very closely with both the FAA and airport management to carve out this box of airspace where we can fly uh, up to 400 feet. We are literally directly across the street from, uh, from the runway, um, but we can do that safely with a lot of uh, coordination. I'm also a manned aircraft pilot. I fly GA, I fly a Cessna 172s and 182s, and it's really important to me uh, that we make sure that all of the manned aircraft pilots above us know that we're here and operating safely. And so that's why we've set up the process that we have with the airport 
uh, to get those approvals in place and get them in place quickly. So this is the layout of Huntsville International Airport. So you can see you've got two parallel runways here. Uh, our facility is right here across this uh, main road here, County Line Road. So that's where our building is uh, located. And then the site where we were flying is out over here. But our waiver actually covers uh, from the approach end of the runway uh, right here, all the way out to this concrete facility, all the way down here to the other end of the runway and then back up. So we have this entire area available to us to fly up to 400 feet. And the reason that that works so well is because you have on runway three, six here, you have kind of a left pattern. And so when the aircraft takes off, they're coming out and they're actually flying wide of where we are. Uh, similarly, when they're, uh, when they're landing one eight, um, they have a right pattern. So they're kind of going around the facility that we have our waiver at. So we're actually operating in a very safe area as it relates to the air traffic. Eventually, Huntsville Airport's gonna expand into this property, but hopefully not for a, a long time, and for now, we'll be able to uh, operate out there safely. Hey, I'm Kevin Vandenberg. We're at Huntsville International Airport, and I am the Chief Operating Officer. We have a rich history here in Huntsville as far as aviation, rockets, jets, things of that nature. Years ago, when this was first in, in its infancy, I would have told you uh, we had a lot of reservations also. Uh, but over time, uh, technology has really improved. And, and I think, you know, this started probably 10 plus years ago. Uh, had some occurrences internationally and nationally with drones and public airport space. Um, the FAA decided to do a study on that. It was uh, part of the 2018 Reauthorization Act, uh, Section 383. We were one of five airports selected to participate in that pilot study. The FAA was on our airport for multiple years. They flew thousands of operations using drones, drone detection, uh, pretty much proof of concept that drones can operate in the airport environment given the right parameters and controls. I think the legacy of Huntsville is that you can come here with an idea and you can grow it into something big. One interesting thing that we like at the airport about Skyfire, uh, all airports certificated under part 139 have to have an airport emergency plan. Uh, we have our own firefighters, we have our own police force, we have our own uh, emergency med med medical services here at the airport. Um, we rely on mutual aid though. If we have a mass casualty incident, uh, an aircraft accident of some sort, mutual aid is a critical part of that. So we rely on those resources to help us re with response and recovery. So the opportunity for us to bring an agency such as Skyfire in here that does training for a lot of our mutual aid partners was really a good way for us to reciprocate and finally say, we can give something back in the use of this range through Skyfire services for them to enhance their abilities, possibly even out here at the airport if we need those for an emergency response type of situation. What's so awesome about being here in Huntsville is that there's so much rich aviation history in the city, dating back to the 1950s and 1960s with Dr. Von Braun as he developed our space program here. One of the things that's super cool about having Skyfire located here is it's been very exciting for the city, for the airport, uh, for the police department to be able to have a drone company here that's doing something other than kind of your traditional um, overseas, you know, defense related drone activity. This is known as Rocket City and every day that I come into work I drive down the highway and see a 360 foot tall Saturn V rocket and a, an SR-71 Blackbird aircraft off to my side. And it does remind me as a pilot how cool it is to live in a town like this. And we're hoping that within the next few years, we change it over from Rocket City to Drone City and just really appreciate and love being part of such a rich aviation culture here in Huntsville.